Well, guys, we got a little bit of a pleasant surprise. They're not working on the hog barn today. They're, well, they're putting the roof on. Neighbor called this morning. Yes, and all plants are needing corn, so we're going to go start shelling his corn. Luckily, the combine corn head didn't need a whole lot of work done to him before we try. So this morning, run around real quick, trying to get everything ready, and we're going to go sample a little bit and check moisture, and then we'll find out if we need to get trucks lined up to get coming. So get ready to get going. Well, we're getting things dialed in now. We about got our first semi load. We don't have the grain guard out. If he decides to shell this whole farm, we'll get it out. But right now, we're going to fill two hoppers and send them to the ethanol plant down in Dayton. That's where, I can't remember when I said it earlier, the ethanol plants are looking for corn. So they're taking up to 30% no, uh, no dock for drying, no shrink. So we, uh, we're getting about 24, 25% with the hand testers. So this will be our first load to see what it actually does. Of course, my Jump Pro 600 isn't working right. Got some thin spots in it out here. This is just custom work, so that don't really matter to me. So we're right here, actually, right across the road from the home farm, and I guess gotta have some humor about it. It worked out. We actually had the chance to buy this farm the last year and we certainly tried but uh, kind of got the guy selling it got a realtor involved and the realtor kind of screwed us out of it. Uh, but we won't go into details there. It worked out well because still got to come over here and play with the calm line on this farm and we don't have farm payment while we're doing it, so it worked out good. We're running about 24 to 27 on our moisture. It's a little greener down here. But we got one semi headed to Dayton. I'm waiting to hear what's going on there. And if everything's good, then we'll probably get the grain cart out. It's not like you wanted to shell the whole farm if that's the case. So. There is a test plot there that we can't shell, but we're just gonna keep going for now and see what happens. It's the earliest I think I've ever shelled corn. Yeah, uh, about eight o'clock this morning, I did not know I was gonna be doing this. It's about 2.30 now. And luckily we did all that work to this corn head last fall winter, so a bunch of new parts on it, so. It was mainly ready to go, and all I had to do is change the concaves and grease the combine. It was still, it got a, the service work done before we, it only run 45 acres of weed, so we're, we were in pretty good shape to get started pretty early today. So, ethanol plant date, and if all things are good as you go, they're open seven to seven, so we should be able to, if we're gonna go tomorrow, we should be able to knock some acres out tomorrow. Especially if we get a grain cart running around down here. Well, we just filled the second semi and sent him on his way, so we gotta wait for the other one to get back from the ethanol plant. I guess there's quite a line. I just got the grain cart hooked up and greased up. I don't know if we're gonna need it. The one truck, the one load, they accepted. It was right on moisture, and the other one's in line down there. The lines are, I guess, huge. So. It looks like right now we're only going to get two loads delivered today and probably only four shells today because it's already 5.30, so. We're waiting at 10 acres of alfalfa that DJ went. He's going to start bailing, so we'll go back and get some footage of the baler. Here's the field we've been shelling in. here at the home farm. I only had, hopefully this is getting towards the end of the hay season. Don't judge us on our skid loader tire on the front of the 4430. Oh, he's got a side screen about to fall off.
nothing too heavy. It was actually so light that the disc bind didn't cut it up very well in places. about nine o'clock and it seems like we're picking up more and more moisture so we're quitting for the night until we talk the ethanol plant in the morning and get a game plan so we'll be back in the morning day day two this is chilling for the neighbor we've got the second semi full it's about four o'clock in the afternoon being has started till about one o'clock right across the road from the home farm there and we shelled a little field off down there. We did that whole field and it was down lower 20s on moisture. We're thinking we're running into corn that's too wet the further down the hill in this field we get. But then again, I run off the end rows down there at the bottom last night and they were, that was the driest slope we've had yet. So we're kind of waiting to, uh, but they might haul the corn that's down there deep now to plant. We're waiting to hear what his load for today tested and decide if we're going to get more trucks coming or what we're going to do. But there's a chance there ain't, there ain't a thunderstorm tonight, so I'm not sure how hard we're going to push or what we're going to do yet. Holy crap, 19.3% is what I just got for the text. So that might mean we're running. I don't know though. I've got just shown a little bit to finish filling the truck and then we'll decide what's going on from there. Well, I finally got my map been working for the last eight acres we shelled. We're just hopping off the truck now. There's some in the cart. We're going to fill this truck up and we're taking everything to the shop right up there because we've got thunderstorms. Some of them look like it could be a little bit stronger coming in tonight. So. We're down to, it says 15.5, we ain't want to believe that, but we're down to that 22 range. I figured we get down there at the bottom, it was actually going to get wet on us, but no, it's actually doing the opposite. So Thursday or Friday this week, we might go out it pretty hard now we, now we're confident we're going to be able to run. It was 90 degrees and a strong wind today, so good drying day for corn. Kenworth. I think, I think it's something what DJ wants, something similar to that. But that'll be the end of this video. Um, we'll be a week, we're a week, or a week and a half out from running any of our beans yet. But a little early harvest footage for you, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give the video a thumbs up and comment. Thanks for watching.